continuing our study of algebra and polynomials today I want to talk about like and unlike terms I have three categories of like terms below here in the first one I have x by x squares which are remember we call those x squareds I have two positive x squareds and one negative red is negative yellow is positive these are what we call like terms they're tiles that have the same shape and you'll notice that algebraically we have the same variable with the same exponent. So those are like terms. Next we have an x by 1 strip. So that's what we call an x strip. I have three positive x strips, 3x. And I have two negative x strips. And those are like terms. The tiles have the same shape. And algebraically the terms have the same variable with the same exponent in this case an exponent one and finally I have the number chips I have six negatives and one positive and these are also like terms so like terms just to emphasize again in terms of algebra tiles they are tiles that have the same size and shape and in terms of the term algebraic terms themselves they are terms that have the same variable and the same degree so the degree twos go together of one variable the degree ones go together of one variable and the numbers the constants have no variable their degree zero they go together as like terms now we're going to use like terms to simplify polynomials if you could just start by looking at the um, set of algebra tiles I have here and I'm going to just write out algebraically what I have I have three x squared blocks I have five positive x strips I have a positive one block I have three negative x strips so that would be plus negative 3x or minus 3x same thing I have a negative x squared block so plus negative x squared or minus x squared more simply and I have six negative one blocks so symbolically this is what I have in terms of the picture alright what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simplify this first of all with the tiles and then with the symbols so to simplify a polynomial what that means is that we want to represent this unit of blocks with the fewest possible tiles we can. So one thing we can do is we can take this positive x squared block, combine it with this negative x squared block, because we know that two opposites will add to zero. They will cancel each other out. So those go away. Similarly, three of these red strips will cancel three positive x strips, they will add to zero so those go away and one of these negative x blocks will combine with a positive x block to give us nothing so what I have left is the same as I had originally but in simplified form I'm using the smallest number of tiles I possibly can alright and I can see that my answer is if I write it 2x squared plus 2x strips plus 2x minus 5 negative x blocks and this is the simplified form for our polynomial we typically write our answer from highest degree term to lowest degree term degree 2 term power 2 degree 1 term and then the constant at the end now in terms of doing a simplification algebraically it's really the same thing we just look at our algebraic expression and we identify the like terms terms that have the same variable with the same exponent and if we think about what do we do with 3x squared and negative x squared to get 2x squared we just subtract those numbers the coefficients of the variable so 3x squared minus this would be 1x squared that's giving us 2x squared. With the x's, they are like terms, same variable, same exponent. 
Again, we take the coefficients of the variable, 5, subtract 3, and that gives us 2. And then finally, with our 1s, our integers, we combine those. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. And that is the simplified form for our given expression. Okay, let's just try one other example without the tiles. So again here, we need to identify the like terms. The x squareds, same variable, same exponent. And then we take our coefficients, negative 7 plus 1, that would be negative 6x squared. Then we take our x terms, x to the 1 exponent, if you think of it that way, and we combine those 3 positive x strips minus 4x, that would be negative 1x. We don't write the 1, we just leave it as minus x. And then our constants, negative 2, remember that negative 2 is the same as plus negative 2. That's why I say negative 2. So I take the sign in front of it as the sign of the, of the term. So it's negative 2 plus negative 1, or negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, and there's our polynomial in simplified form.